There are details of allegations of forced drinking and consumption of marijuana, as well as violence at a Miami University fraternity. A report out today highlights what led the university to suspend Delta Tau Delta and launch a criminal investigation. Local 12's David Winter is live at Oxford with more about what we've learned today. David? Well, Rob and Paula, this area would normally be crawling with students, but tonight, not so much. It's like a ghost town around here as it is spring break. But as it is spring break, we actually bumped into quite a few families that were touring the university today, trying to determine whether they wanted to send their kids to Miami University. And all those families with whom we spoke, well, none of them seemed too surprised at the allegations of hazing. There does appear to be more prospective students on campus today than actual students. And all of the prospective students with whom we spoke did not seem to be deterred by the news of yet another hazing incident. It doesn't sway my opinion in any way because I've heard multiple stories of fraternities getting kicked off in universities across the nation. This latest alleged incident detailed today in a redacted report released by the university. The student writes that on Saturday, the 16th of March, he was involved in a ritual at the Delta Tau Delta fraternity house. He says he was blindfolded and told he could not leave. Hit with a paddle that had spikes and grooves on it, leading to bruising and cuts on his buttocks. And he says he was forced to consume large amounts of alcohol and marijuana. At one point, he told someone to call 911 because, quote, I feel like I'm going to die. He says he was taken by ambulance to the hospital where he recorded a 0.231 blood alcohol level. The young man filed a report last Wednesday. The university investigated and on Friday summarily suspended the fraternity and released a statement saying the contents of the report are brutal and deplorable and the university has a zero tolerance for this type of activity. The university turned over its findings to the Oxford Police Department, which is now investigating the incident as a potential criminal assault case. Obviously, part of college is having fun, but in my opinion, that's not fun uh, necessarily. Jack Owen is one of many young people touring campus today with his family. Does it concern you at all? I mean, Yes. Yeah, it should concern everybody that this activity goes on and that your child could be a part of it at some point in time. A local 12 investigation dug up a letter from the Miami University chapter of Delta Tau Delta directed to parents of pledges. It states that Delta Tau Delta strongly enforces a zero tolerance policy of hazing, is a leader in the fraternal values movement, and is a founding partner of the anti-hazing hotline. We were unsuccessful in speaking to anyone today on camera from the fraternity, but the national CEO sent us a statement saying, hazing has no place at Delta Tau Delta and it has suspended the local chapter due to a serious and credible report of dangerous hazing. And none of those families with whom we spoke today said that these allegations marred their opinion of Miami University and those students, those prospective students we spoke with, they said that they may consider joining a fraternity here, but as soon as there's any sign of hazing, they said that they would walk. Reporting live from Miami, Miami University, this is David Winter, Local 12 News. David, thanks very much. Both the university and the Oxford Police Department say they will determine what actions to take against the fraternity and its members once their investigations are completed.